In today's video we're going to be diving into a little bit more Stellar Blade and this time I'm going to be going over to ADOS 7 and showing you exactly how to grab up every single body core. If you're trying to get a little bit healthy and you want a lot more of a health bar about yourself then this is going to be the way forward very early on at the start of the game. Now firstly we're going to make our way to ADOS 7 and the very first street you'll start off will be Silent Street but honestly there's only one real way that you can go. So you're going to travel along this, keep making your way forward until you get to a structure just here which is going to be an old abandoned car park. You're going to know you're at the right place because if you make it just up the stairs there's going to be your very first proper campsite and if you make it all the way up to the very top of this structure there's also going to be your first real boss fight which is going to be Abaddon. However instead of that we're going to make our way all the way down and just behind a little bit to your left hand side behind the stairs is going to be your very first body core that you're going to want to pick up. Over to our second one, and for this one, you'll have made it past Abaddon, you'll have gone all the way through the car park, made it outside, just across from this, there's going to be nice and easy, little camp, ready for you to rest up, or in this case, just use as a marker, so you know which way to go. And then you're just going to head off in this direction as I show. So, chuck a right, have a short sprint off in this direction, and just keep proceeding forward. Now there will be quite a few enemies and such on the way so if you want to take them out you can do or if you want to run past them you can just get to the other side of this area. You're going to make it down this stairwell just here and just keep going all the way through. Once you get to the other side there will be a few enemies to fight I'm just going to cut it so you don't have to waste time and then right next to this sign the Cosnia Colson which I'm probably butchering so apologies if you know how to pronounce that properly is going to be another body core ready for you to pick up. Now from our very last campsite that we were at just at the bottom of the used car park you're going to make it outside and then this time you're going to turn left and just keep running on. Keep making your way around the buildings, there will be quite a few enemies again if you want to take them out. But ultimately in this little shop area just over here is going to be another body core ready for you to pick up just on the fallen lady inside. Now over to our fourth one and this one's a little bit more complicated but there's quite a few things to pick up here so it's definitely worth knowing about and you're going to have to have made it to the construction zone. From the construction zone campsite there'll be a few things to do here in order to proceed through the map. Obviously you will have to grab the three key cards and stuff but once you've done all of that and you're ready to move on you'll be able to activate this crane. Now this crane is the key to making it further into the maps and obviously if you're doing it properly you'll just line it up make it so you can jump this first gap just over here. However we're going to do things a little bit differently and this time we're going to move it over to the left hand side because you're going to want it behind this fence. Before that though, make sure you knock down this wall as that's going to free up something that you definitely want to grab in order to grab yourself some nice materials and such. After that, align it a little bit up on the left hand side and depending on when you're doing this, whether or not you've got double jump, you can have it a little bit higher if you have. If you haven't, you may need to take a few times in order to get it right. Make your way over, jump on the vehicle just here and from there you should be able to make it up onto the girder. Then you're going to be able to make it all the way along and because we knocked that wall down you'll be able to grab the things from the box we saw earlier. After you've collected what you need to you're going to turn around and then make your way back up on top. Make your way along and then into the building on your right hand side. And just in here is going to be another person with a body cord that you're going to want to grab. However if you did want to get something extra and I would probably say it's worth doing just to grab everything up just make your way over to here there's going to be a little stone facing that you'll be able to get onto, make you up to the top and just inside here is going to be an accessory that you may well want to grab for Eve. But yeah, ultimately a few things in this area were worth having and another body core perfect for enhancing your health. Now from the very last campsite that we were at, this time you're just going to be making your way through the level so as if you were doing it as standard. You're going to want to run off in this direction, make your way onto the big metal plank and then you're just going to run and jump straight across in, into the next entrance way. From here is a nice easy straightforward dash, you're just going to run all the way to the very end. However you will have to probably fight a few enemies in order to pick up the item we're after. Make it to the very end, you're going to see an open entrance way and then just on the floor is going to be the very final body core ready for you to pick up. Hopefully that's helped a few of you guys and girls out, there'll be a lot more content in the way from me and the beta core ones are already up on my channel if you do want to get yourself a bit more energy. As always, for all things gaming, take care. I'll see you on the next day.